Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to our playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. I hope you're looking forward to our playthrough. We are you ready for guard duty? going to continue with the main story. I feel like we are very close to the end of this game. We've been playing it for long enough, let's be real. Um, oh, okay, yes, of course. So we can head back now. Let's head back to, yeah, I think we can just head back to our base, right? Yeah. Ooh, I feel the final mission coming on. Where is the fireplace? Fireplace is here. Let's do it. I was speaking to someone earlier saying like, what game should we play next? Um, so I'll ask on stream, what game do you think we should play next? I was looking at getting Ghostwire Tokyo. For fuck's sake, I went to the wrong one. It's fine. Um, and then after that, I've heard that game isn't too long. Then after that, we could play Elden Ring. Potentially. What's everyone's thoughts? Why am I glowing? I'm an angel. <laughs> I like that bug. It makes you seem like you're like a heavenly angel. Pizza? Apparently it tastes worse the longer it takes to be delivered. Or something like that. <laughs> Maybe you can find the recipe? I think it was just flat bread with cheese and some sauce. I like it already. <laughs> From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega Clarence. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. <laughs> Hi, Bernardo. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. If you're entering the giveaway, good luck. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zoe liked it. I'm glad you and Zoe found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. Cringe. Now that I have Omega clearance, we can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. Cool. I should go get this to Gaia. Not a crazy amount of dialogue for once. Let us know when we're needed. Sup, Errand. There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava. What's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. Uh, exclamation point giveaway, purple. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. You look tired. Ha! You're never one to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Errand. Strike? No way. I should get going. As soon as- I'll give you the- I was like, no way. Sorry. I just, eh, strike. Strike is good, but I like getting on with the main story. Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varro gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale, I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. <laughs> we showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. It does indeed. 
Read anything interesting lately? I found out the old ones use leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently, mm. it helps soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they use to cleanse their aura. <laughs> Candles. Plus something called bubble baths. <laughs> Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. Of course you will. I love this. I love how they basically make fun of like what we do. <laughs> how are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it metal versus meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, really? as Aaron likes to put it. I've never heard You'd that. think we have enough of that going around as it is. I'm telling you, mate, we're going to get a lot of follow notifications on Twitter for this giveaway. Apologies in advance. <laughs> oh my god, is that you? I see you, purple. Uh, cool. I need to get going. Right. You've retrieved the Omega clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear's ready. Thank you for the follow on Le Twitter. Purple, I appreciate you. It's Alva. She's going to be freaking out, dude. Aloy. Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, <laughs> we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing. A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And <laughs> See, there's uh, yeah. more ancestors out there Returned from beyond the stars Of course, they're trying to kill us Which is not great And Eric Visser is with them Which is disturbing And then there's Hephaestus And... Okay, okay How about we take it one step at a time <laughs> You're right I also owe you an explanation For everything that happened at landfall. Mm, the Quen. Let's talk about the Quen. Oh my god. <clears throat> we'll come back to that. Companions. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but they're a good group. It's funny because one of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in. You're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck, but even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. Very different. I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data with the permission from the overseers. Mm. Sounds restrictive and stifling. Yeah, you are not wrong. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What mm -hmm. would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. Your training. You wanted data, you'll find lots of it here. A diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this. And knowing you, I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them. But I was sent here to help you. I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find their way back to the path of truth. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> you mentioned Eric Visser. How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data Yikes. related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. 
knowledge our rulers used to conquer and expand, to become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. Mm. But based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well, at least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. I should put my they clothes back on. Zenus. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the diviners haven't recovered. Fair enough. The Quen. Forbidden knowledge, sure. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That <laughs> is why diviners are only allowed to access segments of the legacy. Only overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. Mm. The CEO. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. CEO. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many diviners to search the legacy for anything that might help the tribe and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Farrow spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. Mm -hmm. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow, the Renewer. Disgusting. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. Yikes. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. The expedition? You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, Yikes. and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse. But nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CEO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. Yeah, that man was crazy. He deserved to die. He was such a wuss as well. He killed someone on his way out, threw him in lava when they were trying to help him. Like, he, he was such a bad person, dude. So, Bohai, your overseer, will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. 
but he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. The Ancestors, is that what your people call the Old Ones? Yes and no. The Ancestors are the greatest of the Old Ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek. Until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. Got that right. That's one way to say it. <laughs> you mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone. Not even your family. Yeah, uh, Unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. That sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep, diviners are few in number, and the Empire is, well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. Okay, dokey, enough. A I need to get going. Is but if you Ava? need anything, all I need Alva. is to help you go. succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right. I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. I don't know why, but the S's were throwing me off so much as they were speaking. Like, they sounded quite strong. Maybe it's just me. Hello, mate. Have you been able to fix your arm? Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. Ooh. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Yeah. Indeed. Ooh. I was hoping we could discuss it. If you have a moment. Yes. Arm. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where. Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. You can tell they were in two different recording studios just because his S S's aren't as harsh as Aloy's. Have you spoken with Alva? The Quinn is peculiar. Nothing like a Tanakh. <laughs> her mind is sharp. You got that, that much wrong. Yeah, right, even. But it's hard to imagine her surviving in the wild. She can hold her. Trust own. me. She's tougher than she looks. Yeah. I She's will take right. your word for it. She like protected us and stuff like that. So How are your she was pretty going? good. I wanted to learn more about the world of the old ones. And? I looked up this pharaoh Gaia said you went looking for, and learned about the plague of machines he unleashed. To think that the ancient world was wiped out by <sighs> a mistake. A single miscalculation that there is no glory or honor in such a fate. Only hubris and pointless death. That about sums it up. Coolio. I have to go now. Later, then bro. Do not let me keep you. I wanna. Like I said, 
I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the ten guide your way. Some people have... No, well, also, you can put a de on your microphone. Like, if I got rid of my de you would hear how annoying it sounds. So a de is like... You know what? I'm just going to do it right now because I'm already... The de currently is at, like, 50. So this is what it sounds like when I don't have my de on. And you hear how, how strong... Ooh! Ugh. It hurts my ears, bro. DSs are so important. Because now when I say... S -s -s, like, it's nowhere near as strong as before. DSs are so important. Otherwise, it's just... It's so harsh on the ear. I'm telling you. The old ones put blades on their feet and... Danced on ice. Yes. Dancing on ice. Sound safe. It's Does not... Sound fun, though. That's some fun. Um, ooh. Is there anything in here? No. I need the fabrication terminal. Also, actually, I'm going to open this because there should be new stuff in here. Okay, cool. Cheers. True, but even then, like, you can use a DSA to get rid of it from the microphone, if that makes sense. What gun is that? Hmm. hmm. Anyways, um, upgrades. Oh yeah, put this on. Hell yeah. Utaru Warden. Yes, please. Can I equip this? I've already got an upgrade for that though. These are like really good ones as well to know. What do I need to improve that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Melee. Right. I don't know which one I want, but I'll equip something different than what I'm wearing for sure. Okay, let's just make all of these because um, it's, I think it costs less resources to make things at the bench. I wish there was a way to like just craft everything from left to right. But then, yeah, I guess you do run out of resources and that's why they make you choose which one. Okay, I think that is that. I don't really care about those. Cool. Fabrication terminal. Craft override. <gasps> we could override a thunder jaw. Let's go. Pog. Nice. Yeah, I still want to be able to override a Dreadwing. That would be awesome. Don't know if you can ride it, though. Thunderjaw override. Yes. Dude, that's going to be so cool. Still a lot of cauldrons to do. Actually, I need to create a job. Oh, they're already there. Already have jobs for all of those, which is good. Stay the same no matter how much time passes. I, what? Thunderjaw override Kappa. I'm what? I'm so confused. What do you mean, Kappa? What are you trying to say? Where is the downstairs section? Ah, yeah. I don't know if she's got anything to say to me, but I'll go to her anyways. Where the heck is this? Okay, that's clearly not needed. I don't think that door had power before, but... 
Looks like it's malfunctioning. Underjaw override is designated. Looks like some kind what of do you mean? maintenance space. What are you talking about? I feel like I'm being trolled. Ooh. What's this? Ooh. What's this? I guess, yeah, we actually need to speak to Gaia still. I wonder where this leads. Look at us just breaking our home for the lols. Power cells? Huh. Sure. Ouch. That did it. Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> guess it was. So it was. So, we're fighting immortals from the stars now? Looks like it. What's next? Oh, I guess they don't Is need the candles anymore. The <laughs> okay, let's head up to Gaia. Because this is going to be long. Probably. Speaking with Gaia oh, is God. always long. But let's complete these or connect these drones. Drones reconnected now. I can choose a location. Error. Drone offline. Californication. Aloy, I know oh, yeah. your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Oh, uh, what would that Did be? Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct, but the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. I know. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. That is long. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Whoa, what the hell? Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Of course okay. she is. Why wouldn't she be? Hi, anyone twitching. That reminds me, I need to update the title so it includes giveaway in it. Or could, could a mod do it, please? <laughs> Could you just include it at the end of the title? That'd be awesome. Aloy. I tried, but it's impossible. Uh -huh. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Oh, the door just unlocked. I thought it was locked. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. What are you doing? Tell me why you won't go. 
燃やしてどうです。I say we just be a freaking knucklehead with her. The only way we can end the risk of that happening is by stopping the Zenus for good. And in order to do that, we have to get Hephaestus. The Zenus are a threat to everyone, Beta, not just you.、Mm -hmm. So find your courage. That's easy for you to say. You still have no idea what they're capable of. I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? Yeah, why are you、what's、such a. What's my defect? Why are you such a little bitch? The <laughs> defect is that you're too much of a wuss. <laughs> Beta, you don't have a defect. Beta, look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost, he raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like having a strength. That was always there. It's still there. <laughs> Even now, I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I still haven't changed my gear, lol.、Well, but she look. I, I think she actually looks pretty decent in these casual clothes. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way.
I'll go. You're right. I'll only be safe from them when we succeed. Exactly. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise. I promise. Um, she didn't even have to say it. She knew. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merch, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. I'm wondering, did she voice act for Leon, both of them? I think she did. Whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Oh, wow. Okay. Everyone's got Leon, more options again. Livestock a little too much for my liking. Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be uh, checking up on you? I mean, whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. <laughs> Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zoe can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. <laughs> and I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat. I think. I think? <laughs> can't remember the chat. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built, uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. And they still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Erend. I'm glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> Must have had it tough as a kid. They probably got him to run all the errands. I hate you. I should go. <laughs> that same here. I thought there was I some date with a cauldron to deep, prepare for. insightful freaking thing you were about to say. And then what happened? A terrible pun. Aloy, everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? Yes. It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator, and I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they aren't needed. Like I said, just in case. Mm hmm. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora. It is very similar to Mass Effect. Listen to you? In time, I believe so. It's very much like. Gather all your companions. It's you, Varl. Now all your companions are going to die at the end. <laughs> like, I have a feeling it's going down that well, route. You and so do. If you go back to the embrace. Which would be she'll come with really me. sad, to be honest. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong, too. 
She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. Not all of them, but I do have the feeling that the majority of them will I die one way or another. firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah, right. When is your Steam Deck gonna arrive again so you can stop talking about it? You were right, you know. About keeping Rost's memories buried. I guess part of me thought he was holding me back. Because he wanted me to be a Nora. But the truth is, he gave me a lot. And I took him for granted. He was a good man. He raised you well. Let's get it. I'm glad you're coming with me, Varl. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? No more running. Uh-huh. Okay, let's do this thing. Hey, we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. You good with the plan? I've already got the location of my assigned cauldron. Good. I heard you and Beta had a talk. Yeah, everyone did. This travels fast. It wasn't exactly a quiet conversation. There were just things that needed to be said. A healthy crop to those who clear the weeds between them, as the Utaru say. Hmm. That's a good way of saying it. <clears throat> you look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, every word I read from her ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Okie dokie. I should go. As soon as you intend to leave for Gemini, you'll hear about it. Who is this? Oh, it's Alva. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, As all for and uh, if you have a moment, nougat. there's something I could use your help with. What? Fine. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's Leviathan. in San Francisco. Hmm. Another pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Of course Would the data doesn't say where. I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well... You're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. 
Alva's kind of cute. She was way more annoying before. I feel like she she's calmed, <laughs> calmed down a bit <laughs> before she was really annoying. Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. So seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. Uh, and she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask So to teach you sometime about Utaru music. Maybe. If you need anything before heading out to the cauldrons. You have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail, as expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very, um, uh, succinct combat advice from Kotalo. You know, uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um, told me to run. For now. We'll even the odds soon enough. Must be strange to think that some of the ancestors your tribe reveres are still alive. And here on Earth, right now. Yeah, it is. Part of me is curious to know who else besides Eric Visser might be among them. Maybe Nikita Arand? We call her the Spark. The that? legacy tells us she brought unlimited energy to the Old Ones. Or Song Zhao, whom we call the Healer. It is said she found new ways to extend the ancestors' lifespans. But my I can curiosity that. fades when I think of how different our view of Visser was compared to the reality that you experienced. Perhaps it is better not to know. Hmm. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel. It's overwhelming to think about. Even so, the Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. I love it. <laughs> so cool. There you go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. The spark. May your path lead to truth. An ancestor of Wulma. What are you talking about? And like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. The old spark. I appreciate it. Just reminds me of Transformers when you say spark. Forbidden legacy. Ooh, ooh. Okay, where's Katala? I mean, we do need to speak with Gaia as well. Where's Katala? Isn't he in here? I just think you talk to him. He's in one of these. You would do if you knew everything there is to know about everything. Are they bitching you can about also her? Out a whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind once she's fixed. Oh, Gaia. I just better stay on her good side then. <laughs> I say, I think she talks too much. Savage. Pretty sure that she can hear her. Hey, Lloyd. Are you well? Great. Had a bit of an issue with Beta. It's better now, though. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. Well, someone that doesn't really? know about our conversation with Beta. I once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life. It was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. <laughs> ah. Well, at least I avoided that. <laughs> I love Katalo. Katalo is one of my favorites, honestly. You nervous about the mission ahead? If I live, it will be in victory. I will not. If I die, it will be in battle. 
What matters most is that you achieve your objective. I'll do my best. Think you're ready to put all your training to the test? I am Tanakhth. I am always ready. Okay, well, that was short and sweet. Get ready. I await your orders. Okay, let's go speak with Goya. G -g -g Gaia. That looks so painful. Rolling upstairs, dude. <laughs> Only in video games. Hello oh! again, Aloy. That looks so painful. My God. Hello, Aloy. Hi. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel. I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Is this it? Uh, question and... Missing subordinate functions. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Of Ted. course. Guess he got what he deserved, in the end. Yes. An igneous conclusion to his pathological narcissism, impulsive tendencies, and instability. Yeah. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density, empowering my overall function. Unfortunately, as we now know they are in the possession of Far Zenith, attaining them in the short term is very likely impossible. I guess our best shot at recovering them is by taking over the Zenith base, but we'll need Hephaestus and a bunch of combat machines to do that. Correct. So is there going to be a third game? There might be a third game from the sounds of things. I don't know, unless we're going to invade them right now. So, about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us until now. She's been through so much. Completely alone. You have both endured many hardships. Different in almost every respect. Mm. Yet equally remarkable. Mm. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobek. Three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. True. That was nice of her. I like to think of you as two miracles. What? Oh, damn. When AI gets a good, like, wow. Wow. That's all I can say. How's all of us settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. AI making AI, bro. I mean, to be fair, this AI help to create humans like come on that's that's freaking insane when i set out to find a way to bring you back i never thought we'd be here like this among friends they have all come a long way with their improvised educations varl has suggested that one day we might extend this model to more tribal inhabitants once the biosphere has been stabilized yeah that's not such a bad idea 
As long as you're the one running the lessons. Wasn't that using pre-existing genetic material? Possibly? Because one of her functions was to nurture, like, new babies. I guess maybe it was using existing genetic data, possibly. Probably, because I don't see how else you would even do that without it being completely science fiction, you know? So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why I got Ted Pharaoh's Omega clearance. Correct. While you were gone, Beta constructed the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? How the hell do we because do that? Because the work will be split between you and Beta, it will take approximately 4.5 hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. Cool. That's the plan. And we're, we're so close to doing it. <laughs> Elizabeth. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Did we ask this Her already? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, Aww. listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. Did all that she could. Thanks, Kaya. Wholesome moments. Old world discoveries. So I uh, found Thebes. Thebes was crazy. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans and his ability to use Omega clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Yeah, true. Oh, okay. Yep. Glad that didn't happen. Yep. Because <laughs> he would have been immortal. Like, yeah. And when you have tribes, very easy to convince them that you... Well, like, even now in this world, if someone was immortal, we would probably praise them as a bit of a deity, you know. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thebes... There was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Oof. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. This place. So what will happen to this place while we're at Gemini? All systems within this facility will continue to operate. As Minerva will no longer be masking this location, the facility will be exposed to detection. Though without my presence, it is unlikely to attract attention. Let's hope so. 
Okay, it is time. Let's go. This okay, is it. People. It's time to head out. Final mission. I'll get everyone together. Question mark. Probably. Let's go. See you later, Aaron. This better not be a copy written song. Why doesn't she get her iron one? I guess she can't ride it, presumably. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> she, she can barely do anything for herself. All right, connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Aaron, everyone, fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my Cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay. Radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the Cauldron Network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Is that? Clearance I can't confirmed. tell if it's the same voice actress or not. Oh, yikes. Lock it down. Terminating external connections. It's working. It's got nowhere to go. Oh, that Wait, sounds what's good. that? Malware detected. Attempting to compensate. <laughs> it's cracked. Look. That means machines are on their way. Okay, well, time to fight. We knew it would happen. Get ready. Here they come. Uh oh, she's gonna freak out. Um, first of all, can I change what I'm wearing? That would be lovely, cause this does—it's not ready for fighting. Um, let's go with this, I guess. Cool. Time to fight. What is that? Oh no. Oh no. I need acid. Aloy, I could use some help. Ow. Stay back. No, oh mercy, god. Aloy. I'm not giving up. What the fuck are you weak to? Okay, you're also weak to acid. Get back. I'm out of stamina. Where is she? Over here, you! You're going down! Aloy, get a hand over here! What do you think I'm doing, bro? Are you okay, Aloy? 
I'm not actually. I'm very close to being electric Drive shot. Away from Beta. That even is Beta. Oh, she's there. Go, chill. You're fine. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. Don't even worry about it. The bots are here, indeed. Nice. Get back. Quick, shoot that gun. Uh, really angry. Over here, oh. you. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, that slow motion lasers out. <laughs> Come on, oh, one more. Hey, Lloyd, get a hand over here. Hey, Lloyd. Can you die, Help. please? Draw it away from Beta. It's nowhere Help. near Beta. No. Chill out, Beta. There we go. That's all of them for now. You two okay? Back to it, I guess. Still breathing. Hey, Lloyd. Hephaestus can't escape, but it must have fled deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back here. Of course it did. I mean, it looked like it did, so it kind of makes sense. Um, let's head for it. Give me some more of this. It's got to be over here, right? Get a good glide in. Is it behind here? Uh, I guess it's over here. Yeah, yeah. It did go up here. I remember seeing it go up here. <laughs> okay, I gotta chase after Hephaestus. Force it out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. You can still hear it talking. <laughs> Of course. Oh, no, you don't, Hephaestus. I'll find another way over. You can just glide easy. Hey, Roy, I'm patched into your focus feet. You should know there is a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. It's some kind of production chamber. This chamber? What the heck Hephaestus is that? Hephaestus is up to something, all right? What, what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know. But I'm gonna shut it down. I bet How? those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. Right. I bet that's where Hephaestus is hiding too. Uh oh. Primary who? Follow the conveyors. Okay. Well, they're up here. I gotta find where Hephaestus is hiding. I love the cauldrons. Like there are a couple of ways I could go. They are legitimately one of the best parts of this game. Aloy, I've managed to rewire most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, th there's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if you bypass the processor, connect it to the power node? I think that could work. Well, at least she's got her wits about her. Can I just jump onto this? I tried to. Didn't work out, unfortunately. Is that how I'm meant to get up to it? Let me just... Okay. Maybe you're just meant to jump. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let's try going over here. Also, what's behind this? Oh, nice. Big stuff. I'm glad I came over here. Hell yeah. Um. I might be able to catch a ride on the rail. Go over the shield. Sure. Yeet. Okay. You had nothing. Thanks. Maybe I should deal with these machines first. 
You see nothing. You see nothing. Ah, oh, great. I'll go for you actually because yeah that one's probably gonna be more to deal with than the other one okay well that completely missed nice okay well let's just go over here for now do I have enough stamina I do Ah, let's just override. What? Oh, great. The machines on the way. Nice. I love machines. Hephaestus has locked me out of the node. Any ideas? I'll see what I can do. Nice. Subsiding. Come on, give me another shot right in that beautiful eye of yours. Okay, I need to hit those. Let me hit it. Let me hit it from the back. Hit it from the back. Oh, no. Not like that. Um... What are you weak to? How are you not dead yet? What? Come on, one more. Do they explode or something? What do the berserk hours do? I don't even know. Ouch. They must blow up, surely. There's no way you're blinking like that for no reason. Anyways, um, let's go for this one. Nice. There we go. Are there more enemies? What? Yeah, there is. Whoa. Holy crap. This one's fast. It's an apex one. It has to be. What are you weak to? Electricity. That's fine. I can do that. Ow, you bitch. Oh. There we go. Nice. Now let's do some more arrow shooting on you. Um, let's get you whilst you're down like that. Nice. You must have a weak spot, surely. Some of you, I think. One more hit. You're not dead yet. I got them all. I, I tapped into the core's network hub. I managed to disrupt Hephaestus' control of the node. You should be able to override it. Nice. Thanks. There we go. Ice. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. Well, I better not get comfortable. We're coming for your ass, Hephaestus. You will die today. There must be some other machines nearby. Maybe not. I 
Oh, just one in a circle. Nice. Which way was I meant to go then? This way? Yeah, I guess so. Energy containment failed. Safe over it. Great. The fest is over the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy! More machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. Yeah, I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side too. I guess Aaron's missing out. Aloy, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? What's up, Kroas? How are you? Oh, Good to see you. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity! I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. How the freak do I get up there? You can't reach that. There's definitely a way up, but... I think I need to go that way, yeah. Could just go this way. Yeah. Ugh. How have you been, Crasp? Has your username always been Crasp, by the way? Oh, I forgot that is a thing. Don't do that. Made a new song? Nice. How are you? I am great, thank you. Oh, that's electricity. We're fine. Yeah, I need to get up onto it. Oh, how do I get onto it? Yeah, come get me, bish. They're riled up now. Are you going to try and kill me through the shield? That's what I thought. <laughs> Uh, I do, dude, but I don't have them during my gameplay for, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Maybe there's a way over the shield. That very much is. How the heck are you meant to grab that? Is there a way from lower that we could grab it? Hmm. Oh, why can't you grab it? It's literally right there. I'm clearly doing this the wrong way. Yes, I know, Eli. See, I would have thought, yeah, you can do that. There we go. That's literally exactly what I wanted. I, I, mate, did I have to shoot that? I think I've actually done this the wrong way. And you were maybe meant to like shoot that to climb? I don't freaking know. But there was definitely... Oh. Wait, I want to drop off. There was... A, uh, it's fine. There was 1,000% away up there. And I did not do the right thing. But it's fine. It is fine. Just a little longer. All right. I need to drive a Vestas out of here. The frick is there that? There should be another note right. Got it. Can I drop and assassinate you? It's fallen. Nice. Get regs. An apex one? That was nice and quick and easy. Oh, yeah, it drops the bombs, which stop me from using certain abilities. Yeah, I can't use my focus anymore now, which is great. No, no intruders. What are you talking about? Oh god, that's fire. I can keep going. I landed on the arm. Nice. Oh, here we go again. Doesn't sound good. I'll try to get your access back. What are you waiting to? Water? Yeah, I don't have that. Ah! Ugh, you fish. I'd shoot you. Ah! 
please don't set me on fire. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. Jesus, man. So many of them. Nice, that was a good hit. Ugh, this is not good though. Not you. What are you weak to? Acid. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, I'm getting double teams, triple teams. Oh my lord! I'm on fire! Ah! I'm just getting absolutely destroyed. I can't get out of this corner. Uh, I need to go for you because you're being a pain in my ass, really. I'm getting destroyed by this thing. Oh, I could have overridden it. Oh my god, yes, yeah, that would have been useful. Okay, acid. Give me some of these hours. I'm out of stamina. Did you recover your stamina quicker then? That'd be great. I'm actually getting right. There we go. I was gonna override you, but now you're dead, so Sanj. Keeps on wrecking me, man. I need to get my stamina back first. There we go. Power shots, please. And let me freaking finish you already. Uh. The pain and suffering. I want to get to high ground, dude. Holy crap. At least from here, maybe it can't attack me as much. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Hey, Griftix. Griftrix, even. How are you? Ah. Oh, hi, bud. Oh. Nice. Nice. I just got pulled. Jesus, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Let me shoot you right in the butt. No? Okay, that, I mean, that's fine, so. You want to see what it's like? It's amazing. I love this game. This game is so good. Nice. It's very, very good. The combat's really fun. The story is pretty darn good as well. The world is amazing. The graphics are amazing. I love this game. This game is really, really, really good. Ooh, nice. You got a weak spot, huh? That's the other one. Where are you? It's definitely another one. Maybe it's dead already. 
Oh, there you are. Are you like healing it? Okay, no way. I saw like a purple pulse, which was strange. Weapon removed. I forgot. I've got the removable weapons. Is that what I want? There's one which does tear. This one does tear. Then you have any more weapons? Yeah, Rex. Yeah, you do have limited hours. It's not unlimited. Uh, you have to like repair on the fly, basically. Or not repair, craft on the fly in your menu. If you have enough materials. I should have used that way earlier. But it's fine. Okay. Where's the other one? There's still one more enemy here, apparently. Oh, it's on the other side. I can use this weapon again. Because this weapon's freaking awesome. Is it here? Oh, it's there. <gasps> no freaking way. There is zero way I just died to this little bitch after going through all of that. I hate it here. There's no way. I, I'm so pissed. And I had that massive weapon. I'm so pissed. At least I know, like, how to be a bit more efficient this time. I actually hate him. <laughs> All the way back here. No, I suck. I actually suck. Okay, well, give me this. Let's do this on you because you freaking suck. You're a pain in my ass. Okay, you're dead. Now give me this. Increase power Where is it? Oh, there you are. I freaking hate you. You should not have killed me. Simple as. I love him. Nice. You're dead. At least I'm not dealing with them all at the same time. That was the issue with oh, last time. Now I'm down here. I can jump back up quite easily though. Have you played the first game, by the way, Griftix? You're only looking at the animations. Why? Did you say you don't see me? I don't know about that girl. I'm pretty sure it saw you. Okay, now you, big boy. There's more of them. Okay, let's do this. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Nicoletta, I appreciate you. Weapon removed, let's go. Another weapon removed, let's go. Dead. This is why. This is how we freaking do it, dude. That weapon is so good. There's another one here. There was another one here. I can't find it now. Oh, it's there. Uh... Again? How many times? Give me this. 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 
I hate it here. I hate these enemies. Mind if I do. There we go. Okay, you should be dead. Now I miss. Oh my God, stop. Just let me kill you, please. I missed again. I'm so bad. I hate it here. How are you not dead yet, bro? There we go. Uh, that's like a, a power up. So my one makes my bow more powerful, basically. When I use, you, you have different power ups. The ones I have, or the one I have equipped now, makes my bow shots more powerful, basically. Okay. By the way, this is, this is like to hide. literally the final uh, mission, I Aloy? think. I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. Machine that Festus was building. It must have finished it. Whatever it is. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should, should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if No, Beta. Just stay where you are, okay? Handling the machine's my job. This is gonna be a big ass machine. Be safe. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Legs are I think it's charging up. I could take out its tail. Stop some of its attacks. Oh god, you're weak to ice. A oh, pog! What's up, Sapphire Ghost? Thank you so much for the raids. Okay, you you made it at the perfect time. We were just about to get super into a freaking boss fight. How's it going? Pixie Cat Games as well. Time. yeah let's freaking let's do it let's go let's go um thank you so much for the raid again i appreciate you i'm gonna die this is a big boy but we're gonna use we're gonna use ice and hopefully get rid of it i need to reload whilst you're down a bit Woo! Whoa, daddy, chill. Okay, the raid alert finally came through. Whoa. It's chasing me hard. I don't like it here. I need to hit that tail. I miss all those shots. You're kidding me. Okay, let's reload. Oh, I just got Much eaten, better. bro. Holy crap. <laughs> I full on got eaten. Nice, get rid of this. Hit those on the side. Nice. Are you, yes. Okay. Let's do this. Big arrows. Let's also activate our things so we're worth more. Cosplay stream. Law Olympus. Oh, okay. Really cool web comment. Oh, that's awesome. No, this isn't the weapon I want. Nice. Big damage. Big damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you weak to? 
Is that a usable weapon? Yeah, that's a usable weapon. Okay, give me this. Let's try and aim for your tail. No! Oof. Sorry, I need to catch up with chat. Doing pretty good tonight. Just trying some spicy fried pickles before they get cold without hurting my mouth too much. Oh, yeah. Nice. That sounds yummy. I keep missing. And this shot is so important because then we can use this as a weapon against it. If you keep your freaking tail still. No, stop moving your tail, bro. I hate it here. Hitting the tail is so difficult. I'm getting wrecked, as I'm sure you can see. Oh my God. It's gonna explore any second. Not plasma. Just stay right there. Don't move your tail, please. Stop moving your tail. I freaking hate it here, dude. It exploded, all right. I can literally kill this thing normally, but I really want to use this weapon on its tail. Yes! Yes! Oh, we, we hit it, but we didn't hit it quite right enough. I, I, I hate this fight. Okay, um, we're, we're using normal arrows, I guess. We have no choice. I'm out of stamina. This is a great fight. Plasma freaking sucks. Okay, back to ice. Oh, what is this? Underground freaking under the ground move. Yes, we it's did done. it. Good. Stand by. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. Is it here? Where's the node? Up there? I know it's here. Okay. Oof. Stress, man. By the way, this is pretty much endgame territory. No more hiding, Hephaestus. It was very sweaty. Still sweaty. Got it. Hephaestus is back in the core. Make sure I wanted it stays to there. use this. I'm heading Can I back. Still use it. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I guess not. I think once along. it's dead, that's it. Like you can't use it. <laughs> and you, Pearl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. Obviously, I'm the main character. <laughs> of course you couldn't have done any of this without me. I'm the center of the story. <laughs> oh, God. What were you... How How is Spirit Fairer? What What's it like, Sapphire? I think I've heard of it, but I don't think I've actually got to play it before. The bypass is done. Okay. The core is stable. Hephaestus is 100% contained. What? No way. Way now too we easy. started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Yeah, this done. is like final game territory. Done? That's it? Is this it? Is it? Is it is that, is that, that, that's it. Thank you for the follow on Twitter, by the way. What is that? Oh, we're converting it into good data. Sure, this okay. is how data works. To complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus's malicious code carefully. This is hackers in the making. What is this UI? 
Let's just pull out all the red parts. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're putting in blue parts instead. This is like, um, minority code, is it? Something like that. The... I've forgotten what that film is Anybody? called. Look. Look, it's all blue. The code's not red anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at a very 30 frame per second thing. Oh, here they come. Oh no. Oh, no. Well, hello, redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Yikes. Eric, get Beta. Kill her. And squash that bug while you're at it. No, don't you kill my boy, Val. Oh, hell yeah, Val. Yeah, it's not that easy, though. Ooh. <laughs> Get behind me. Oh, shit. Come on, quit screwing around. Yeah, we're having fun, right? No! Oh, no! Oh, shit. She can't do it. We'll save you. Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. She can do it. There's no way. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop huh? her! No! Huh? I can't even see her! What the f what the freak just happened? Of course Val's dead. Why is he not dead? Of course he's dead! <laughs> Well, someone had to die, didn't they? For frick's sake. He might be okay. He might Beta. be savable. Farrell. Well, yeah, her hair does go crazy sometimes. Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Make breakfast. breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could have a woman like that in my life. Or just any person like that in my life. I want to wake up to breakfast. That'd be nice. After a hard fought battle. <laughs> what the frick was that? Brother. What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. 
What the hell? Is this our place? I'm curious to hear your impressions. My friend is dead. Veda and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art. Or the insight we might gain. This is so detailed. My favorite pairing on the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. And on the right is a forgery, Woman Reading Music. Which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Oh, wow, that's cool. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh, no. I made my real fortune later. Why do you keep the forgery? I've always enjoyed studying the two side by side. Both painters capture light, color, and perspective. But what makes one a masterpiece and the other simply an imitation? The forgery looks... sharper. Good eye. The details are crisp. The contrast bold. It tells us more. And yet, we feel less. Sure. What's in the letter? Who can say? What does the painting tell you? She's concerned. Whatever's written in the letter troubles her. Burden. She can't put down. Fascinating. What is that noise? that noise that's so weird that one looks cool can we analyze this no i mean those are pretty epic Celine and endymion she's the goddess of the moon whereas he's a simple shepherd beside her is the god of love cupid so she's sneaking up on him more like visiting him in secret the torch that Cupid bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. The detail of, like, the cracks in the painting is freaking next level, honestly. And why can't Selene and Endymion be together? Selene took a vow of chastity, promising to never take a lover. So when she fell in love with Endymion, she could only visit him at night while he slept. But then wouldn't she be breaking that vow? Think of it as a forbidden love. Though circumstance keeps them apart, still they find a way to come together, however briefly. That's cool. Aren't Selene and Endymion cold? Perhaps we should move on to another piece. This music is crazy, man. It's like coming out my left ear. I genuinely thought I was hearing something else. Ah, uh, we've seen this in Animal Crossing. Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous oh, I have. my homeland ever produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. In my day. But not as influential as you've been in this new world. The militia, they look disorganized. Where others painted such scenes in a stiff and stationary manner, Rembrandt chose to show them in action, preparing to march. He wanted them to feel alive. You can almost hear the commotion. Who's the girl in the painting? She's a strange one, isn't she? Bathed in light, though no one is paying attention to her. Many believe she's a symbol of the militia. 
a physical manifestation of their spirit, if you will. She's not real? What's real in a painting? She's meant to represent the militia's virtue and victory. But I like to think they underestimate her. She looks as if she's seen something. What does she know? What secrets does she keep? There's so much detail to take in, isn't there? Yeah, that's interesting. The girl stands out a lot. <clears throat> oh, hello. A portrait of the painter Rembrandt's son Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of a boy in a hood? Me and art. It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. Mm. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. Works of art such as these can often cause us to look inwards at our own lives. I'm sorry about your friend. Had I been able to intervene, I would have. But the risk of losing you as well was too great. Everything went by in a blur. I couldn't get to him. Oh great, my camera yeah. died. Long before holograms and focus recordings, people relied on art to memorialize their loved ones. Because of works like this painting, their lives are immortalized. Rembrandt had four children by his wife. All but Titus died shortly after she gave birth to them. She passed not long after that. Titus became the only family Rembrandt had. Which is why he painted him this way. Indeed. Then tragedy struck again. Disease claimed Titus at 26. It's almost as if Rembrandt painted the future, closing in on him. Rembrandt actually painted several portraits of Titus, but this one has always been my favorite. It's honest. What do you mean? In others, Titus was portrayed in brighter, livelier states, but here, Rembrandt allows himself to express his true feelings. Sorrow, fear, hope, love. Laid bare on canvas for all time. I see this one resonates deeply with you. That's what you think. I just see a boy in a hood. <laughs> okay. It's interesting because to be honest, I don't get asked at all. Well, I, I do, but I don't. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. About Jeremiah. If he knew his home would be destroyed, why didn't he save the people? Why save those relics? He tried, but no one would listen to his warning, so he saved what he could. But how did he know? He was a prophet. He saw an army invade and destroy the city in a vision. So it's more like he calculated which side would win a battle. What matters is that he was right in the end. If not for him, all those wonders would have been lost forever. At least this way, some part of his world survived. You know what I like the most about this piece? Even though he's the sole survivor, his home in ruins left with only the remnants of his world. The light keeps the shadows at bay. There's still hope. Precisely. Take as long as you like. I love how I miss that. 
Why go through so much effort to make a fake masterpiece? The forger initially painted under his own name, but found little success. His work was considered unremarkable. But when he took on the guise of Vermeer, suddenly it was celebrated as extraordinary. But it was a lie. And he knew it. Sometimes we struggle to glean what is real and imagined, even within ourselves. The irony of these two is that Vermeer died in obscurity. He had no idea his work would become some of the most precious, most copied, most preserved pieces in all history. Shall we move on? Sure. Yeah, I, even again, I walked straight past it. That one's very easy to miss. The Gust by Willem van de Velde, the most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. Mm. Where is the ship going? To a know. faraway land, most likely. My ancestors used ships like these to explore the world, sometimes at great cost. What were they looking for? Anything of value. They were traders willing to face unknown dangers to make their fortunes. But no matter how far they went, they always turned their sails home. So this Von de Velde only painted ships? It was his specialty. Following in the footsteps of his father, Willem the Elder. The two had quite a journey of their own, taking them all the way to the court of a foreign kingdom. Did they ever come home? No. But eventually their lives worked it. Take your time. I'm good. This is very cool though. What is this? She's pulling out her own hair. Out of madness, out of grief. It's hard to watch her suffer. I should move on. Why does her voice sound so muffled? Though? Stunning, isn't it? Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is Von Vianen's lidded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. <sighs> Function over form. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial? Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. If this you are was a memorial, how did you end up with it? As the pharaoh's swarm closed in, my homeland's greatest museum gave it to me, along with many other works in the hope that I could preserve them. A masterpiece like this was too important to lose to history. I even considered bringing it with me off-world to ensure its safety. Why didn't you? I took a calculated risk. This vault seemed more secure than the unknowns of space. Besides, I thought someday I might return. A long life after all has its advantages. Now, lo and behold, here I am. Exquisite, isn't it? So I... <laughs> A lot of weight on his shoulders. Another feeling. I should move on. Cool. Well, we examined all the art. I feel like I deserve a trophy for that. But apparently the game thinks otherwise. So that's fine. There's even more in there? Jeez. Collector. This must be worth like millions. Breakfast. Oh, this isn't breakfast. 
Where's my breakfast? Hello. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? Where are we? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta. In the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done? You think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them. And lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. That's it. She's only 20. Jesus. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. That outfit is freaking amazing. You are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission. Her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. Just give me some super cool there. shield. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Mm -mm. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. Oh, wow. Nice. With that and Gaia. So Google. We could do everything Elizabeth <laughs> wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee. Building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. 
but it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. Hmm. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. Mm. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Oh, it's question time, baby. <laughs> Story time, baby. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold. 20 years. You were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. Hmm. Beta. You said Beta is not in urgent danger. So what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the Data Channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. Oh, I didn't even ask what about you. So you know all about me? What about you? What would you like to know? Well, start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. Oh, they my literally guardian flooded it. Sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You are an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. Mm hmm. What about joining it? What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death, where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that 
they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. Mm -hmm. At the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the earth. So I accepted Farzenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. Damn. That's sad. The other Zeniths. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. Of course. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. Mm. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Farzina's original vision. A better future for humanity. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Because, I mean, it's either that or wipe out all human life. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes, though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. Well, she felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. Mm. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. This place. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. How long did she stay there for? Anyways, Zenith's Beta plans. told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. Mm. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. What? We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a 
blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. Makes sense. The Zenith base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation. A passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door. Bypassing most of the fighting. Don't you think that will take us with a away your access? In which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Surely they'll just take away your access. Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. Oh, sounds perfect. That was going to happen. How do you know about Silence's plan? True. He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. Right. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of Prometheus. The ones working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack. Gerard's base. Mm. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. <laughs> we say that now. We'll see what happens. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? Yeah, exactly. It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Right. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Right. Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. Yeah, this is... this. I don't think we like this plan, though. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was... Everything she was, I see in you, and more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. That's a shame. How did you meet her? So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days. <laughs> because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. An AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life. 
not just follow orders. Mm. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. Your approach. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, mm -hmm. but she was very welcoming almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, finally, we got through all that. But that was really interesting. I enjoyed that. First Faro. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Yeah, not a great plan. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deep. That's a way. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. Is it working? <laughs> Are you doing it? <laughs> Can we see better? Oh god, she looks like she's in pain. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Wow, what the fuck? Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I can't hold it this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise, okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. again when it's time 
Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. Oh. We don't know what the plan is. I like this. It's all kept under wraps. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. Will be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. <laughs> Will be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion from the air. <laughs> oh. Wait. Can we fly? Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. <laughs> The, the ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. Okay. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. I like her though. I still Aaron, like Tilda. Are you there? Aloy. Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all. At, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It. It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Data corruption severe, data corrupted. All the makings of the next big thing. A much ballyhooed acquisition. What is that word? I I'm blocking it. A much ballyhooed acquisition. Uh, oh, let me move my camera real quick. I have no fucking clue what this word is. I ain't never seen a word like that before. I'll just move my camera here. Bally ballyhooed? Acquisition, anyways, um, from an art historian turned technologist, no less, bleeding edge science and a great narrative to boot. The application was called YCITT after young Christ in the temple, a well known Vermeer forgery, by creating perfect holographic scans of individual layers of painting. Of a painting, oh, there goes my camera and comparing them to a vast library of artistic works, it was able to identify fakes with an unprecedented level of accuracy. But it was clear to Sterling executives that the program's ability to match and identify patterns had broad applications outside of the art world as a tool for security, counter surveillance or digital authenticity. It could prove just as revolutionary as it had in its intended role, which is why they were willing to give a nine figure agreement for it, blasting news of the deal to every outlet in the tech media. Two years later, the project collapsed in a chaotic jumble of lawsuits, recriminations, and accusations of sabotage. So, what went wrong? Who was responsible? And most importantly, what happened to the underlying technology, by, which by all accounts was far more powerful than the vaporware label applied by disgraced executives? So that's how she got hella rich. Okay, let me see if I can replace my battery. Battery. It's gone, it's gone. It can go on its battery. 
Oh god, my head. Could be on now. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenus can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. I'm glad there's more to this game, to be honest, because I was like, it feels like we're close to the end, but it, if it ended where we were doing the mission, I would have been a bit, a bit disappointed because that ending was a bit like, eh. a bit meh. Okay, so. What are we doing next? Oh, we're here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we can do that. What quests? I kind of want to do a side quest. I'm not going to lie. What is Forbidden Legacy all about? Alva be believes data in San Francisco may help the Quen fix it. Yes, I kind of want to do that. What was lost? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll do the Forbidden Legacy and see where that is. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, I should be able to just fast travel. Are those trees? I'm looking... Oh, no, they're buildings. That 3D map is weird. Anyways, there's a thing right here. What's that? Tide Ripper. Oh, wow. A Tide Ripper. Damn. Shell walker scuttling around. I wonder what it's got in that container when it's back. Then turn around, please. I see nothing. Okay, cool. Fast travel. Let's head to here. And then we can get Alva to help us. Or we'll help Alva, whatever. Vice versa. Um, this is the way. Oh, there's a drone here. We could get the drone as well. Hmm. I hear it. It's like there. How do we get up there though? I can't be bothered to climb right now. Hello, friends. Sure. Look at how many quests are, brother. There you are on the mend Please. already. Let's restock all categories. Thank you. Excuse me. I want to see what missions you have for me. How? There's no way we can find our way back home like this. Hmm, actually, no. Laser. We'll do this mission right here. Oh, wait, where's... What are we looking for? Oh, cool, Alva. Right, okay. There we go. I was supposed to meet Alva here to find data on Leviathan. But after what happened at Gemini, I... I'd better head back to base first. What? See if everyone's okay. Okay, well, guess we're not doing that, and we're heading for um for the base, which is fine. Where is the base? It's all the way here, right? This is my base, right? Yes. I traveled all that way. Thank God for fast travel. Imagine you traveled all that way on foot just to find out. Oh no. Maybe not. I thought I felt the snow chill. Let's go. We're glowing again. Poggers. Poggers. 
How is everyone? When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey, can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. Hey, the Apex. So. Oh, Zoe must be well upset. After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Need to be there. Mm-hmm. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. For context, by the way, the Apex. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Val was murdered by one of the Zeniths. I thought you were going to go fight some Tanakh. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. And one of the Zeniths also, um, is helping us now. Tilda is her name. Do you think so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. <coughs> I hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. I like how we suddenly became sisters. Let's play Strike! <laughs> I need to get going. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, you better get there before Katalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. Forget my dying sister. Or my captive sister. Let's play some Strike. Um, let's speak with Zoe. Or Zoe, even. Where is she? 
That's new. Ethan Reeds. I've been. Can we play? I've this? been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Places. Really, I can't listen and walk around. Oh, I can. There we go. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Places. Gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite. Sample six two six. Calatropus gigantea. Six two six. Crown flower. Is that a? We used to have one. Lilo and Stitch backyard. reference. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there and... Oh, whoops. I think I accidentally stopped the audio. Nice one. Where is Zoe? I think she's out one of the exits. Hmm. I'm confusion. Why is she? Uh, it's all going to be okay. We can't give up now. You look busy. My studies are a good distraction, especially after Cultron Gemini, Varl, Beta, Gaia, gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future too. We won't let that happen. Well, it was an end game, Reese. It was an end game, to be fair. It was. It seemed like it was end game, but then everything kind of went to shite. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Aaron seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time. To sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. Rip. Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Katalo more than most. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. If my plan works. Do you prefer DS2 or DS1 so far? So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted, not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, she was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. Really? I feel like I trust her, but I mean... What was Leviathan again? Who knows? A flood control system back in the Great Delta. It was built by Eileen Sasaki, another of our ancestors. If we can acquire the data on it, we might be able to fix the system back home. Then my sister, my parents, other families won't have to live in fear of their homes washing away when the long rains come. Right. And to find it, we need to head back to San Francisco. I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. All this dialogue. And I haven't forgotten about the data on Leviathan. I'll let you know when I make it back to. Thank you. Um, I was gonna say. All this time, listening to dialogue has given me time to detangle my hair, which is great. Can we fabricate?
Did we get a new override? No. Okay, maybe not. Okay, anywho. What? I already spoke with you. I'm not speaking with you again. <laughs> no, you know what? YOLO, uh, did I miss something? Hey, the Zeniths. Tilda's the one who rescued me. She knew Elizabeth. But okay, what? well, we've already spoken about that, so that was pointless. I speak. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. What holograms? Oh, this. Oh, that's cool. Give me one sec. I'll get to dialogue and then I can read your message clearly. Where is Zoe? She said she would be like... Outside. Oh, let's just go through one of the exits. That's not an exit. This is an exit. Okay, I think Zoe is out here. Cold distract me. Yes, yeah, she is. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, Still the seed rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Eloy. Oh, shit. I, I was going to tell that. him when he got back from Gemini. Oh, fuck. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. Thank him for saving my life, sure, but also for not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. Oh. The music was so good there. 
I'll try to visit again when I can. But for oh, now, that's so nice. I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. You can then sit I'll with use it them. on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Why is it so emotional? Val was great. You will be missed. Salty would be so upset if she was here. Whew. Anyways, where are we going? I want to do that. Can we actually do that though? Let's see if we're able to do this mission. That was well said. If not, that's fine. Hey, Alva. Okay, I'm cool. in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Fast travels. Hi. Aloy. I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Imagine she yes. just died on her yes. way there. Right over there. And we never knew. Diviner Alva, what are you doing back in Landfall? And with the living ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh, yes, I stumbled across it, but there was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our search was very thorough. Yikes. Mm, you're hiding, hiding something. something. Mm -hmm. What? That, that is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. Look, I get it, Nerik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan. How it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here, along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often the truth is forbidden. Come on, let's go. Thanks for your help. Please, could you spare a moment? Suz. Got a mission to do, mate. I might come back later. Not now. What do you mean, not now? Not bad with that diviner back there. We've come a long way since we first met. True. And Nerex, like I used to be, terrified of a misstep. And with the overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse. Uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. That should be the facility ahead. That was one hell of a brightness going through that. In. Up here. Well, Nerik wasn't lying about crumbling uh, ruins, at least. Aloy, why is the Let's ground shaking? That's not good. Whatever it is. The snake. Whoa, that, it. that thing is huge. It's gotta move. Yep. We'll have to it. take it out if we want to find that data. Ice fire plasma. Uh, okay. I'm oh. Oh. Ouch. Are you all right? 
I should, speaking of, midway through this, I should upgrade myself. I've got 16 skill points. Jesus Christ, man. That's what I use, right? Range master? No, it's power shots I use. What, what does power shots even do? Hmm. Big long boy. Yes. We love the snake. Achievement unlocks. Okay, what else do we want? Resilient Trapper, Food Duration, don't use either of those, Nimble Crafter, don't, uh, yeah, again, we don't need to focus on that. That could be good, sure. Ooh, why not five? That sounds great. What's this? Melee Detonator. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, is there anything we can get here? Passive bonus for that sticky bomb technique. When you're dangerously wounded, low health melee bonus. I don't really use that. Stealth would be pretty good. Yes, that's nice. Double notch. Shoot two arrows at the same time. That's pretty cool. Smoke bomb capacity. Part breaker. Yes, that's quite useful. I've never used that weapon still. Spike fur. I haven't used that weapon yet. Even though I really want to. Do that. Set their grace aggression. Mount Archer, what's this? Deal more damage. Okay. That would be good. Increase the amount of time it remains overridden. Okay, cool. We finally leveled up. Cheers. Here's ammunition. We need to reload. Thanks, son. Oh, don't shoot me. I'm turning down the volume. <laughs> there we go. Oh, jeez. Leave me alone, please. Oh, God. Please, just let me kill you. I kind of do. A little bit. Gotta hit it while it's prime the plasma. Chain reaction, do it. Hit this. That's gonna blow? Question mark? Yeah, there we go. Let's reload. You don't need anything, Ava. Chill out. I'm gonna die. This is a lot of electricity. I don't like it here. How are you not dead yet? Oh, 
I'm healing. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, now use this and we should be able to finish you. There we go. Nice. Down it goes. Well, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. We should be able to look around for that data now. Pet snick. I might be able to kick that vent open. Through here. After you. Time for a swim. Mm, at least the water's not freezing. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like. Back when the old ones were here. It's less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors. <laughs> you okay? On every expedition, the soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers first to protect us diviners. But this is actually kind of fun. Fools and dives. <laughs> console. This is kind of fun. Must have been what Nerek found. Thank you for the follow so anything on, the on Twitter. Oh, the data on Leviathan isn't here. But there's some kind of log. Delete the database. But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms. Over 400 dead. The data is clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database. And forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor, Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. To their corporate headquarters. Which is where? Uh, there. Okay. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. That's a big ass building. Come on. You're about to take vacation for the first time in a really long while. Nice. I still need to. I haven't taken one since Christmas, to be honest. So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quan seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviners spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path. Oh, it's very story driven, Dev. It's really good. Lead the way. It's really, really good. I swear I've been in this building. Is this not okay? Maybe it's bigger than the building we went in. Yeah, I think it is. It's very, very story driven. We're nearish. We are near the end. But um this shouldn't really be spoiler territory. This is a side mission. But yeah, it's really, really good. I'm loving this game. A complaint you could have is that there's too much dialogue but honestly i think 
it's a good amount the game has a good pacing between like combat and dialogue for the most part yeah for real and uh there's been some really emotional moments and there's some like good twists and stuff it's really really good i think this is as far as our soldiers got we'll have to climb higher to get into the tower i'll follow your lead so i thought i like whacked you in the head for a second have you played the first horizon by the way div up we go Where do we go from here though? Oh, okay. Not that way. Good to know. I think we need to go up here. There we go. I'm meant to go up here. You doing okay, Olva? Yes. Don't worry about me once it goes on sale you know what i've been doing honestly i've been buying if you have a ps4 or ps5 i've been buying games and playing them as until i complete them basically and then selling them because games are so expensive right now i really know the struggle and because i'm a variety gamer i'm always oh, i'm always playing new games i don't think so but we'll have to be careful How are we going to get across? Oh, oh. oh, that beam looks promising. Okay, that's fine. I thought I died. <laughs> Didn't even need the beam anyways. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. I can shoot it. There we go. Whoopsie. Yeah, you have to put the answer, not just A. I feel like that message is a bit confusing. God, I love seeing that. That's so cool. Glenn talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall off the tower. A grief. If I have you, we should stay quiet. Dead? Oh damn! I could have killed both of them. Okay, well, you go find someone to kill. What are we doing? Head him further up. Up this way. Okay, just don't look down. No, right. Just, of tower. course. Just don't do it. Super easy. easy. Aloy. I'm okay. I'm gonna clear some of that debris first. Oh, this is gonna cause a okay. big pull. Should be able to make it to the other side. Made it. Okay, Alva, your turn. Right. Yeah. Aloy, can you watch me and make sure I do this right? Come on, Alva. You can do it. It's okay. Oh, God. The Glinda Please Hawks don't right break. <laughs> Oh, God. Don't, don't let the Glinda Hawk stop you. Ah! Alva. Ah, I'm okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That would have been a long way to fall. <laughs> I fully we'll imagined sure the glint hawk getting in her oh, way. You sure you're okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Let's keep going. Huh. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. Um, yeah, month and year. According okay. to the legacy... 
It was October 2023. October 2023. Got it. Nice. Door should be unlocked now. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. The password was reset. How secure? Maybe I know. The data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy. We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omoramba wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Well, companies can be pretty notorious for bad passwords. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. No good. Can't use the pole caster on that. Yeah, you can. Just hit the wrong thing, that's all. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. <laughs> Don't blame you, to be honest. Um. Oh, hello. What was I going to say? Whoa. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father. So, what happened? Wait. I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that <gasps> knowledge is lost or <sighs> forbidden. I meant to press or maybe we were wrong about that too. Um, they're more caring about it because they, like... They, their people used to like study the ancient people you know and they had writings about them that were wrong basically they're realizing they were wrong about quite a lot of things that people weren't as good as they're making them out to be Yeah, it's just a long way up. This is gonna break. Sure. I definitely wasn't meant to do this, but okay. Yeah, the ancestors weren't so holy. Oh my lord, bro. I'm doing this in such a weird way. We're fine. We're fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'm dead. Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, thank God it's warmed me back here. Yeah, this was the way you were meant to do it. By the way, Reese, did you see the Kingdom Hearts 4 thing? There we go. Now, how to get up higher? How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Yeah, the YouTube video. Now where do we go? 
Oh, okay. Right I'm back at the shafts. I know, oh, not the reaction. Theory. Just like the original like video. I forgot if you were there or not. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Okay. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's okay. another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay. I'll meet you up there. Oh. All right. Alva's on the way. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts. I. I think these were Eileen's. It's every diviner's made it. Drone. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. This is a very it's tall building. Art, I think. Could it be? Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary, you say, hmm? Not quite right. 20, what was it? 2023? So it should be 48, right? Unless I got the date wrong. Let me check the notebook again. Tell me, when was the uh, founding date again? Could look around with my focus. What? What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. Oh, that must be the Larson McCory Award. The legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. And she was 40. Okay. Well, I don't freaking know. That's not it. Tell me dates again, woman. This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. Uh, what? <laughs> H2 flow. Their early inventions had strange names. 40. That must be the Dragonfly 6. 6. Appa used it in most of their My construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. How old was Eileen when she won this award? 40. 40. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Yes, I know, but I forgot yeah, the numbers. It's worth a try. 40. You said Eileen was how old when she won this? 40. What was this thing again? The H2 flow. 40. Two. You said this was commissioned for something? The company's 25th anniversary. Two, five, Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. 40, what was two, this called again? Two, five, the Dragonfly 6. 6. 42, two, five, six. That didn't do anything. What? I thought that would have worked. Did we overlook something? 25th anniversary. That didn't work. Hmm, maybe try my focus. 40. Two artifacts. H2. Two, two five. Maybe they used to be on opposite pedestals. Uh. 40. Two. Two. Five. And a. Six. Two, five. That did it. There we go. You can almost see the whole city from up here. Wow. Corner office. That's one hell of a view. Impressive view. 
It must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Well, it's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Yikes. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors, statistics, far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water, improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe the lie was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, uh, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Uh, Leviathan... Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay. I I'll mean, see you there. Yeah, but also... Well, oh. after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. Thinking. No, we're definitely doing it. Awesome. Glad we did that. That was a cool mission. I can't believe it's basically half midnight. This is upset. Yeah, I know, right? She'll just climb back down the shaft, but she doesn't have like a glider. So it's going to be a lot more difficult for her to get back down. It's so weird to think that this first game didn't have a glider. Uh, to be fair, you could like repel off of um, off of edges. Because I was like, how the hell would you get down quickly? You could like repel down basically. Which was pretty much the same as Assassin's Creed's jump. Um, awesome. Oh, where are we heading now? Uh, zoom out. How do I zoom out again? There we go. Sure, that works. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what we want to do. There's still a thing down here, which is kind of annoying. I want to find the the thing down here, but I think that's where the Zenith base is. That's why we haven't done that yet. That's like literally final game, end game territory. Um, let's call it there for today. As much as I really want to continue playing, it's basically half midnight, so we're going to find someone to raid. But thank you very much if you were just watching for Horizon Forbidden West. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough as much as I am. And until the next one, the Skullcat signing out. Peace.